Anyway, we're back again. Monday Morning Cooking Club Girls. We have got Lynn Hi. and Jackie Hello. and Lisa and Natanya and Marilyn. Hello. Squished in there at the end. So Squished. we've got a fun maybe 20 minutes or so with you from the Monday Morning Cooking Club kitchen. But the most exciting news of all is our new book is here. Um, it is in stock in our storeroom and it's about to be launched across Australia on the 27th of March. And we are really, really excited. There it is. There we are. Yeah. And, and there we are. Close and and can I just Very say, personal. I know I'm a little bit biased, but it's really, <laughs> really, really nice. Like, have a look. Can I show just you a little bit? bit? Just a little bit. It is just something <laughs> so amazing. Actually, can't Thanks. see because the light is reflecting. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> so, good morning to all of you. And if you've joined us, please say hi so we can say hello right back at you. And I'll tell you what we're going to be doing this morning. So we're going to be making a wonderful, wonderful dish from this new book called Black Eyed Bean or Black Eyed Pea, Pea. if you're not in Australia. Yeah. Hummus. Oh, good morning, Esther. Esther, so good, good to see you. You are first off the rank every time and we love it. And thank you for your excitement and your congratulations. Loyalty thank you. goes. You yeah. rock. Yeah. Um, so, hi Sally. Nice to see you too. Oh, thank Sally. you. <laughs> So, oh, there's a timer. Okay. So, back to where we were. Where were we? Okay. So, we were talking about black eyed bean hummus. And if you go onto our website when we're done here and look at the most recent recipe post, you will see the little story that comes with it. And it is absolutely fantastic. So, that's from Michael Twitty. And I want you to read all about him. I'm not going to talk about it now. Yeah, great story. It's great. great. So, our new book is crammed full. Crammed, right? Crammed. Full Crammed. of Crammed. recipes, Crammed. not just amazing Shop recipes, lock. but beautiful stories as well. Beautiful so you get an insight story. into this global Jewish community of cooks that we have. The second thing we're cooking today is something for the new new book, which is going to be out hopefully in 2019, uh, which is going to be sweet only. And we're testing this delicious oat slice, which Lynn will tell you all about soon. It's yum. Uh, we have tasted it before, but now we're going to make it here. And the other thing we're going to tell you all about is our amazing Facebook competition. So here's something we've never offered because it never existed before now. We are offering a prize of the, our three books. Our first book, which is called Monday Morning Cooking Club, The Food, The Stories, The Sisterhood. Our second book, which is The Feast Goes On. And our new book, It's Always About the Food. You can win all three of them. The trifecta. And it's really simple because you just have to do three things. Three books, three things, right? Easy. First thing you've got to do is you've got to go to YouTube. Actually, go to our Facebook page and find our YouTube book trailer. It's there. You can't miss it. Once you get to YouTube, and we're going to bring you over here, Jax is going to video and show you exactly how to do it. Let's go, and I'll talk as we go. Okay, okay so we're just going to turn you around. To... Okay, so this is what the YouTube trailer looks like. And this is the YouTube trailer. Look at those chicky bags, But we really want you to go and watch the whole thing. It's only a minute and it's actually hilarious. And we promise you that if it doesn't make you smile, well, what can we promise you? Nothing. It will make you smile. So then, to, so the first thing you need to do is go to the YouTube page to our um, video, to our book trailer, yeah. Monday Morning Cooking Club, the trailer. And then you go down here where it says share, see where I am, that's it. And then you go share Facebook, and then your Facebook page will come up. See, that's my Facebook page there. And then you need to tell us, you need to say, hey, Monday Morning Cooking Club, and tag us, and tell us what your favorite dancing music or cooking music is in the kitchen. Ooh. How's that? So what's yours, Natty? Do you have a, a, a favorite? I'm not there. A I'm favourite um, <laughs> A favourite song yeah. to... Um, well, I suppose it changes. At the moment, I have to say it's Adele because I was at her concert on the weekend and she was just incredible and I'm in love with her, so that's all I listen to 24-7. But apart from her, it's probably something that one of my children, Oscar or Sasha, is singing. That's probably what I listen to more than anything else. Um, and I actually, interestingly, can't listen to music when I cook because I find it I need to concentrate oh, no, a lot of time. I, I, love, I know, I know, I, love, I need to change it. What about you? I listen to music all the time uh, and it can be anything from like 
Indian Shwami music. <laughs> if I'm stressed with my cooking, I put on like meditation music and on yoga music, and I go jazz, I go classical, I go Carol King, James Taylor, Cat Stevens, yes, retro. See. Non-stop, non-stop it's, music it's really, in the kitchen. It's actually, because cooking is my downtime, like I, yeah. it, I just need to cook to de-stress, having music on just adds to it. Well, I want to tell you what I cook too, and that's Pavarotti. Oh, oh very cultured. Very, very cultured. I need the red wine. I need the red wine to go with it. Then we've got everything to do. Yes, yes, yeah. Beautiful. Lee, beautiful. Do you remember I many? I love listening to music when I cook. And for me, anything really, but I do love me some good jazz. Uh, ah, so oh, many so years ago, before iPods and iPhones, Terry Durack, hey what Terry, if you're watching, um, had a cookbook, I'm pretty sure it was Terry had a cookbook of Italian food that came with a jazz CD. Do you remember that? Yeah, maybe, maybe. When we needed to put the CD in the CD player to cook with it. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, but I think that we um, better get cooking yes. because otherwise we're going to chat about music all day and we're running out of time. I'll go through the competition details again, but remember you can win three books, which is an amazing thing, never ever offered before because it didn't exist till this week. Um, just want to remind you all that we are on Facebook Live, so please help us continue our amazing cooking community here from the Monday Morning Cooking Club Kitchen by just sharing this Facebook Live post and liking it. I just want to say hello to a few oh. people also. Yeah. Um, uh, Sally, we've said hello. Selena, good morning, good morning. Guy Gross Hi, is, darling. Here is, I am. is there and, and can see his own wife, so he's very happy. Bess from, Bess from LA. Yeah. Good morning, well, Bess. We're over here now. Okay. All right. I've talked about the over to here. Stop. Okay, we're making a beautiful oat slice. Um, it's a recipe we're testing for book number four. Um, it's one of your recipes, isn't it, Liam? Yes. I've, yes. I've She's adapted it, it from I've somebody. I've made it for a long time, and we've just changed it around. And instead of this, the honey we've put in Ceylon, which is date syrup, and really delicious, we've added some tahini for flavour. And, so it's a little, and it's the a little, start um, of it yeah. oh, is oh. butter and sugar which emulsifies and this is, you don't this get oh. better than that. Oh. Yum. This is date syrup and I have to say it's a new discovery of mine and it is absolutely delicious. And delicious. Just, date, just dates. Yeah, it's, and Yes, exactly. So anyone that's worried about what might be in it, the ingredients on the bottle, dates. And that's it. So, which is so it's not called Ceylon on the on the packet. No, it's called date syrup. It's called date syrup. Um, and Marilyn tells me that on porridge, it is unbelievable. Yes. Dates, chopped up dates, walnuts, banana, and date syrup. Oh, I love it. And, yeah, I love it. and if you mix your Ceylon with a bit of tahina, it tastes like culver. Oh. oh yeah. Oh. Just, 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 oh. And then, and then, oh yes, the this is the hot tip, this is the hot, tip. This is the hot tip, this yes. is, I can't remember who told me, but thank you to whatever cousin or nephew or whoever told me. Scoop of vanilla ice cream, drizzle over some raw tahina, and then some raw, and then some cilan, yeah. and it turns into halva ice cream. Ah. And then you could just, I would, um, I would chop some pistachios and just... Finish it off with some on top. Well, and that's dessert for Friday night, yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. That's easy. Go. That's wonderful. And yeah. a big welcome to Tracy and yeah. Shelley. I've ah. got one more thing. So Tracy's feeding the baby, so great. she's with us. The perfect, perfect, perfect viewing timing. for baby feeding. <laughs> and hello, Shelley, who can't sleep because it's the middle of the night where she is. <laughs> in London, I think. Um, or in Ireland. Somewhere far away. I, okay. I just want to well, say one more thing. Doing that, maybe one, one trip. Once upon a time, my brother, hello, um, <laughs> took me and introduced me to Hulver ice cream. And it was a marriage made in heaven. I love Hulver. Yeah, me too. And I have just found in Sydney black sesame gelato that tastes like Hulver ice oh, cream. Yes, and it is unbelievable. So everyone go out and find some black sesame gelato. And oh, yeah. Sounds delicious. Okay. While we're Sounds waiting delicious. for them to cook that, I might just do this. Hi, Lisa, Renisha. Do you want to talk about the, uh, <laughs> these little gorgeous little balls? And Jake, welcome. Uh, Natty wants our attention. And sorry, Shelley's in Surrey. Sorry, Shelley, not London. <laughs> Isn't Surrey oh, close to okay. London? Have a look at this. Okay, so the other... This is... This is one of the recipes in our new book, which are gorgeous little, they're called haroset balls. Um, 
we call them our Jewish bliss balls um, or our Pesach bliss balls because it's just a mixture of chopped nuts and dried fruit or, and a little bit of um, sweet wine. Here they are. Oh, look, Natty, and ironically, Natty is modeling them in yes. the book. Natty goes um, everywhere with a little bit of it. Yes. Now, and then rolled in nuts. And can I just tell you, this is a recipe from Susan Barakas in, um, sorry if I didn't pronounce her name right, in the USA. And this recipe comes with such a story, but I'm not going to tell you. You've got you to have get to the read book. It. Yeah. It's so good. Okay. So we made mini ones. I've just got them on a skewer here um, for some of our launches next week. And Marilyn and I had this great idea that they would be fabulous dipped in melted chocolate, so we thought we'd do it for you guys on Facebook I this morning. I think it was Marilyn's idea. You might be doing it, but I think it might have been Marilyn's idea. Okay, Marilyn's <laughs> idea. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> so we thought we'd do it for you guys because you can't have a day oh. without chocolate. Oh, oh. It's, it's like, like a lid oh. ball. Oh. Like a lid oh. ball. Oh. Like a, a little bit of baking so paper. Good. Yeah, please. That oh, looks that's really good. good. And then we're just going to put it in the fridge to... Um... Oh, wow. Because it was my idea, I had oh, to eat oh. both of them. One. <gasps> Shall we just cover Ooh, up that the little hole? baby. Look at that. Looks amazing. Chocolate-coated horosid balls. And what could be better? <laughs> Welcome, Rosemary. It is perfect for Pesach. You are perfect right. Perfect for Pesach. And I think what, what's, what we love about these Haroset balls is that you can make them a couple of weeks ahead probably mm. and just keep them in the fridge. Okay, got to go over there to Lynn. Look how beautiful I've added the silan. the silan. The silan. And look at that. Look Gorgeous, the rich, that is delicious. Rich. It smells beautiful. beautiful. That is so beautiful. I need a peek. And, and smells fabulous. Oh. There's Cooper the Wonder Dog. Oh, oh look, it's all happening. Ready? Okay. Oh, oh, we need to close up, Jack. Are you ready? Sorry, Cooper. I'm such a dog person, I just couldn't... Do you want me to stir? No, you've got the thing. With this? Yes, that's great. So you've added to a Leave large the bowl of all goodies. What's in that bowl? Very hot. Just pop it down. Besides oats. Like the end. Thank you. So in the okay. bowl are oats, yes. dried apricots, yes. pepita, Oh, that looks I actually enough. just want to die. I want to die. Oops. To actually, take this bowl and run outside and eat it. Go on. Oh. You know what? I call your bluff. So my you thing. Actually, you them in, the, in chocolate as well. It's it's just amazing. I know. Oh, vanilla. Oh, and the tahini. Wow. That's a lovely mix. I have tasted, test tasted these before. I have to tell you. And they are really, So can you tell me what's really in it again, cool. please? Let's go through what's in it. Not quantities, just the what's in it, ingredients. So we've got oats. Yeah. Yep. We and have pepitas. We have oats and pepitas and dried apricots. Coconuts, desiccated coconut, or shredded coconut, whichever. Either are beautiful. Smells amazing. But lots of butter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only eat when I'm here. <laughs> Sprum, I'm sorry, know. Lynn. It was just too good not. That's to okay. Work. Lots of butter, sugar, and of course, silan. So it's. Are oats gluten free? Is that a silly question? No, Sometimes they're wheat free. They're wheat free. They're wheat free. Yeah. 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 So it's wheat free. You could really add anything you want. I've got tin, beautifully lined I thought by it would myself. Nice to add some chia seeds, <laughs> some no one else knows it. Beautiful. Um, okay. Seeds. 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 You, could, beautiful. you could actually make it into a seed slice. Oh, this is With hard work. With the tahina and the silan, it would be great. Do you want to have a go? Can I taste it? It's all good. So don't forget to like us, ladies, if you're watching. And gentlemen, anyone who's watching, give us a like. Share the. Share the love around in the kitchen. Lynn, could you do that bit in the mix master? Sorry, Jax, can you say? No, Sorry, I was no. had the bowl there. It would go too it mushy. It would go too mushy. I would definitely only do that by Yeah, hand. because when I make my chocolate chip cookies and put and sometimes I'm lazy and put them in the Mix master, not yeah. even the food processor. Yeah, they get not. processed. Yes. You don't want and that. You don't want that. No. Yeah, and no. you lose the texture. Yeah. Okay. Now you have to that looks so good. So beautiful. And that's it. And, and then it goes the into the oven at 160 for okay. 20 minutes. minutes. You can't see that teaspoon. I really want to. 160 for how long? For 20 minutes. 20 beautiful. to 25. 
That looks amazing. Maddie's just, just patting it down. I just taste and, it. And yeah. Lisa's having a taste. And then she's doing the taste test. It Lisa's just makes great, um, um, you know what, it's a great lunch pot, beautiful. Lunch beautiful. pot beautiful. snack. Beautiful. It's a great um, beautiful. afternoon tea slice. And this also it's great this breakfast beautiful. bar. It's good before it sets, actually. Mm. No, this is great. This is... <laughs> What's that? The, that's I the don't know, raw that's mixture. Yum. And you <laughs> could actually, once this is made, you could cut it up and yeah. pop it into the freezer. Yeah. And you know what's really good? They do it's taste very delicious sweet. from the freezer. Yeah. Um, which is. Yeah, I was eating them from the fridge. They were mm. yum because they mm. go a bit harder. Yeah. Are they sort of yeah. chewy? They've got a yeah. chewy yeah. taste. Yeah, they're very chewy. Mm. This it's is not good. Sick All right. Sweet at all. And you can actually. On. And once it's cooked, top it with a little drizzle and of dark chocolate. Okay, Maybe we're going to leave that because I want to talk about um, black eyed yes, beans. So Michael, who gave us this recipe, um, is into a fusion cuisine, we'll call it, but that's really not what it is. But he takes his own soul heritage and mixes it with his new Jewish um, heritage, wrong word. Um, you know, so it's the soul and the Jewish, or the black and the Jewish, as he calls it, and he's put them together in his recipes in our book. I think fusion's good. Um, I know, it just sounds so modern, and yeah. I, oh, I guess it's modern. Yeah. But he goes way back, at, and he's got such interesting things written about him. He's an interesting guy, so you need to read his story. So this is black-eyed beans, or black-eyed peas. We got these from um, Naked Foods in Double Bay. And if, you, if you're in the eastern suburbs in Sydney, it's worth popping in there to have a look because they've got the most incredible range of stuff. So this is, a, these, this is what they look like. You can buy them canned. And Michael actually has canned ones in his recipe. But we just wanted to show you these from scratch. Aren't they gorgeous? So they're black-eyed beans or black-eyed peas. Oh, the little eye. Yeah. Hence the name. Shelly uh, Friedman likes your hair. Really like this, do you? Okay. <laughs> this is, this is no time to do it, and this is what it looks like. Thanks, Shelley. Okay, so we have soaked them overnight, drained them, and then cooked them in water with no salt for about an hour. Is that right? 45. 45, and they're really soft, because we're going to make hummus. So he's taken the black eyed bean, which is something from his soul heritage, and made a hummus, which is sort of more, a, 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 from in his mind, a Jewish dish combination, fusion. Delicious. So who's going to make the uh, hummus? Okay. So we've got beans, and what else have we got? We've got all these delicacies over here. This is our, our oh, ingredients that are going to, going to go into the hummus. Yeah. All been prepped already. I need to go. go. While, while Marilyn's getting everything ready, I'm just going to come around and have a chat. We'll follow Luke. Um, because we've got so much exciting stuff. So. This, of course, uh, is the most exciting. And this, we don't go to the gym anymore. We just do no, no, like that's exercises. Not good for the oh. camera. <laughs> it's making everyone feel seasick. But look at that. How good does that look? Do you guys want to... I want you to notice the embossing and the feel. It's this and is debossed. It's actually debossed. Debossing. And the cover's lovely and textural, and the pages are just cool. Look at that. Look at that. The pictures, the, the pic photos. The photos are unbelievable. You know you want it. It's really, really beautiful. It's really beautiful. But we got distracted, because I was actually going to say that we have got a lot of events coming up, and we'd love all of you, wherever you are, particularly if you're where we're going to be, to come to our events. Um, we have it on our website. At the top it says events. If you click on that, you can see everything. But it's on our Facebook page as well. Basically, when, um, as we go. So that's that. And that's good, the event. Hang on. Good morning to yeah. Kelly and Gabby, who both joined in. Thanks hi, for Kelly. joining us. Hi, Hello, Gabby. hi, girls. Um, and let me just do a quick reminder of the Facebook competition again. So all you need to do is share our YouTube trailer, our book trailer, which is us dancing to Boogie Wonderland, and we love it and we want you to share the love. You need to share that on your Facebook page, you need to tag us, and you need to tell us what music you like to cook to. And that's it, simple, and you can win our three books. Okay, let's go to the hummus. Let's go to the hummus. So, right. start by pulsing the very soft black eyed beans. Start by Stop turning by your machine on. It's <laughs> always handy. Break that. Pulsing. Pulse, pulse, pulse. You need What texture are you aiming for? Are we aiming for... I don't think it really matters. I think it's hummus. And by the end, it's all going to be hummus. That's 
my personal point of view. Okay, this over here, Jack, is tahina and olive oil mixed up together. Whisked, 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 whisked in, in the raw whisked. tahini, not the prepared dip. Raw tahini and olive oil. Then that can go in. Well caught. Good reflexes this morning. Here you go. Thank you. On your left hand. Okay, we're going to pulse that. Going to pulse that. Pulsing. Pulse, 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 pulse. I love this. Actually, you'll never, you'll never buy a hummus again. I now make hummus every, every week. You. And also, can I just yeah. say one tip? I'm very big on tips. Um, you can cook double the beans or double the chickpeas if you're making traditional hummus and freeze them, freeze yeah. half of them. Mm. So I make, um, I, I use one batch fresh and then I pop the other half in the freezer for That's the next That's a great week. idea. And actually you could just alternate between all our cookbooks and the different hummus recipes that we have. Okay, so, lemon juice. <laughs> Did you miss that? Did no, you I missed that. that. I said you could just alternate hummuses between the between our cookbooks. Yeah. That's so we've got we've got three hummuses. Yeah. We've got a hummus in every cookbook, okay? Mm -hmm. In the first book we have green hummus. Do we? Is that green tahini? No. no in the first book we've got regular hummus. The second book we've got green hummus. Yeah. And now we've got black eyed bang. Yeah. Okay, so what's going okay, in? Let's so go we've guys. done lemon juice. Yeah. I just want to say we we did crush the amount of garlic, but it looks like a lot to me. You know, when a recipe says four cloves of garlic. You don't know if they mean big cloves or small cloves. So I'm a, <laughs> I'm Sorry, a great I'm not a garlic person. in spice yeah. or garlic, adding half to start with and tasting. Because yeah. you can always yes. put more in, but you can't take it out. Yeah, okay. okay. Very then wise words, here, Marilyn. In there, you. we've got paprika, cumin, coriander. Morning, Judy. Welcome. Powder. Good. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. I'd probably, it's an interesting um, I would have put in brown it? sugar, but you know. Hot chili sauce. We're always, we always try and stay true to our cooks, and if yeah. it tastes good, then yeah. we, we follow their yeah. advice. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to get some spoons. I feel tasting coming on. <laughs> yep. And off we go. Hi, what about Lainey. the salt? Good morning, Lainey. I think we'll just do this first. Lisa's got the spoon. Wait, not yet. Not really, yet. I think it's it really, needs to scrape yes, down. Yes, I, I agree. Who measured the salt? Me, one Great. and a half <laughs> teaspoons. If you've got any issues, you can take it up with no, your just, No, no, it looks fabulous. <laughs> That's the second thing Marilyn's dropped today. <laughs> oh, who's counting? <laughs> Someone's got to be the fall guy, right? Yeah, it's so if you've just joined us, I want to say okay. good morning. We are the Monday Morning Cooking Club in the Monday Morning Cooking Club oh, kitchen. Go. And we are making... Oh. And we are making black eyed beans. <laughs> we are making black-eyed bee, black bee hummus from Michael W. Yeah. Twitty from our new book. Great recipe and a fabulous story. Jackie, I want you to know I took a clean spatula. Excellent. The other one fell on the floor. I did it. Oh, you're right. Down near where one. To anyone who thinks goes. we are, you know. Yeah, you have. No. Just don't finish that sentence. Can I taste? Are we ready or not yet? No. Am I too keen? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we are cooking live from the Monday Morning Cooking Club kitchen. Please help us share this cooking love. Venetia, you'll be so excited when you get your book today. We're excited for you. I just right. want to check for salt before Lisa has it. Morning, a Monica. Marilyn's checking salt. It's beautiful. Mm. If, so, she, I know. if she says so herself. We are four of the five Monday Morning Cooking Club girls. Jackie is videoing today. I like that. I like that. It's got a half a cup of lemon juice, which is quite a lot. Lime will go work really well in here as well. I'll take from the other end. No one says I'm. Beautiful. It is really good. Really good. The lemon helps it pop. Really spicy. And the it's got texture. Yeah. It's um. Divine. And and it's going to get better if we leave it for yeah, an hour. Yeah, we'll right. never serve it straight Absolutely. away. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, love okay, it. Great. Okay, okay. Right. good. So that's okay. our hummus easy. Yes. And well what done. would you serve with it? Well, oh, you have oh, an amazing, oh, oh, amazing recipe from my Bosch um, in the new book.
perfect with that. And we've also got these amazing little Syrian pita breads that take a few minutes to cook and they are these little puffy, lovely pitas with a hole in them. It's a miracle actually how they form. Great with that as well. We We're going to put it in a serving bowl, which you don't really, do you need to see that? No. 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 We need so we'll just come over and say goodbye. And then yes, top with some parsley. That's okay, good. so let's come over and say our farewells. Maybe we should have a little music. First of all, I want you to, be, to turn it around and I want to show everyone, last night for dinner, I made the South Indian fish curry from Rachel Dingle's recipe. It was so outstanding that either I feel like making it again tonight. My family absolutely loved it. It looked exactly like the recipe. It was stunning. So this is Jack's picture of the recipe. Right, look at this, okay? That's Jack's from last night. And this is the book. It, just, is, it is a sensational recipe. Just magnificent. Yeah. And the flavours were true curry flavours, made from scratch. It was so easy and my family just loved it. So I just had to share that. Okay. So it's time for us to just pop ourselves here for one more minute and just say goodbye. You know, we could really do a two hour Facebook Live. I've just got too much to say. Um, but I just want to say thank you all for tuning in and watching. Come on, come on. And no, no, no. Don't forget and to remember, um, like us on Facebook. So remember to like and share, share on Facebook. Um, remember you also to check out. Oh, and the competition. And the competition. I'm always on the end. Remember also to check out our events yeah. in Melbourne, Sydney, and Brisbane. Come and um, say hello. Please come and join yes. us at one of yes. them. We'd love to see you. And tell us you watched us on Facebook Live because we love it. it. Makes us very happy. And last but not least, oh, one no, more I've little reminder. Okay, before Sorry. that is the Facebook competition. Don't forget, you can win all three books. The first time this prize has ever, ever been offered, which is amazing because it never existed last week. <laughs> and all you have to do is three things. Share our book trailer from YouTube to your Facebook, tag us, Monday Morning Cooking Club, and tell us what music you love to dance to in the kitchen. So that's it for oh, us. Oh, yep. I wanted just to say, and if you do have the new book or you're getting the new book, we really, really, really want to know what you're cooking from it and what you think of it. And so post, please take post photos. it, no. send us an email, <laughs> put it on our website, whatever you want, but let us know. We love the feedback. Yeah, exactly. Skywriting, however yes. you want to tell us is fine. Carry yeah. a pigeon, yeah. Yeah, message in a bottle, you get the picture. And okay. enjoy Just the book. It's know. fabulous. It is fabulous. Uh, but we'll be back again probably in three weeks to do an amazing um, Facebook Live on Passover cooking. And we'll let you know how all our launches went. So watch us, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. Us. See Bye. you guys. Bye. 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 Now I'm going to just do this very elegantly.